You are about to discover the training difference that has helped thousands of dog owners experience the joy of a better behaved dog quickly and easily by using an Enotech remote training system. Although you're probably not a professional dog trainer, your Enotech remote training system was designed by professionals with you in mind to be safe and easy to use. And every Enotech remote trainer is supported by professionals too. Enotech understands that each dog and situation is unique. Call the free professional training support hotline at 1-800-364-3362 and they will gladly walk you step by step through your particular training challenge. Call as often as you wish. For Enotech customers, the help is always free. Our goal is to help you develop a happier, more satisfying relationship with your dog. With this in mind, this video will cover the most common and useful commands such as sit, down, break, come, and go to. We'll also deal with specific behavior problems including jumping up, digging, rummaging, and other common misbehaviors. If you have any questions after watching this video and reading the owner's manual included with your Inotech remote trainer, please don't hesitate to contact Inotech's free professional training support hotline at 1-800-364-3362. This video is intended to help you use your Inotech remote training collar in the easiest and most effective way. Once you and your dog become accustomed to using the Inotech collar, as described in this video, you will find many other effective ways to use the collar and to ensure years of enjoyment with a well-behaved dog. Please note, Inotech remote trainers are not intended for use on dogs younger than six months. However, you can introduce puppies to your remote training system by getting them accustomed to wearing the collar and using some of the tone-only options. We recommend that you use the basic training concepts learned in this video early if your dog is young, encouraging good behavior with plenty of praise. Before using your Inotech remote trainer for the first time, read the owner's manual and familiarize yourself with it thoroughly. Pay particular attention to the cautions given in the front of the manual. Your Inotech remote trainer consists of two basic components, the transmitter and the collar. Depending on which model of remote trainer you have, the collar may have replaceable batteries or an internal rechargeable battery. Your remote trainer collar comes with two sets of metal contacts, short for short-haired dogs and long for long-haired dogs. Use the set of contacts that suit your dog's coat. A little hair thinning in the area where the collar makes contact can produce more consistent results. The transmitter sends a signal to the collar receiver that administers the stimulus. By pressing the appropriate button, you can deliver a training tap or stimulus to your dog. The training stimulus itself is a brief, corrective tingle that helps your dog learn. This stimulus is completely harmless. In fact, it's similar to what you feel when you shuffle across the carpet in your socks and touch a metal doorknob. Your dog will quickly learn that good behavior in response to your commands brings with it rewards, where an alternate or undesirable behavior turns on the tingle from the collar. The Inotech Remote Trainer comes with several different levels of stimulus. Regardless of how many levels your remote trainer allows, always use the lowest level of stimulus that produces the desired result. With the proper level, your dog's reaction should be a little shake of the head, twitching of the ears, or a look to you. Your dog should never be fearful of the tap, as it should simply be a distraction from one behavior to a better behavior. Most Inotech hand controllers will automatically synchronize to the training collar when you turn your unit on. However, in some cases it will be necessary before using your remote trainer for the first time to synchronize or match up your hand controller to the dog's training collar. Please refer to your owner's guide to ensure proper operation. Depending on your Inotech model, the hand controller may also have other useful features such as tone and click options. For operating instructions for your specific collar and transmitter, refer to your owner's guide. After you've familiarized yourself with the operation of your remote trainer, turn it on and always turn it on before putting it on your dog. Attach the neck strap so the collar contacts are centered just above the dog's Adam's apple. The neck strap must fit tightly enough so that you can slide only one finger between it and the dog's neck. 
trim away any excess neck strap, leaving enough to account for the dog's possible future growth. Never leave the collar on your dog for more than 12 hours at a time. If you notice any redness or sensitivity around the collar area, remove the collar immediately and wash the area thoroughly with mild soap and warm water. Okay, let's get started. You've familiarized yourself with your remote trainer. The collar is turned on and the hand controller signal is matched to the training collar. Now it's time to determine the training level that's right for your dog. When using the Inotech remote trainer, always use the lowest level that produces the desired result. Push the controller button. You'll know the dog is feeling the collar by the reaction of twitching of the ears or turning of the head. If your dog shows no reaction, check to make sure the contacts are touching the skin of the neck and deliver the lowest level again. If there's still no reaction, then and only then move to the next highest level. Repeat this procedure until you're sure your dog is feeling the tingle. If the dog jumps or cries out, the level is too high. When you've arrived at the right level, take a few minutes to play with a favorite toy and give a lot of praise. To start, we'll learn about basic commands that involve teaching your dog to sit, down, and break. These commands will help your dog to be safe, better behaved, and more reliable around guests. These simple commands also offer you the opportunity to solve a number of common problem behaviors that may be undesirable to your family, neighbors, and friends. Perhaps the most important command is the release command. This command can be a word that you choose, such as free, break, or okay. For the purpose of this video, we'll use break as the release word. This release word tells your dog that it's okay to move about. With an effective release command, there's no reason for the command stay. Your dog will simply remain where told and move only when released. After learning the three basic commands, your dog will move to the more advanced commands that require your dog to learn obey commands from greater distances, such as come, used to call your dog when he's off leash, and go to, used to direct your dog to their spot or place. Memorize these five basic commands and use them consistently, and you'll be on your way to training your dog to associate each command with a specific action. Whether your dog is a companion pet or your best hunting buddy, these five basic commands will cover the most common behavior requirements. One thing to remember, we recommend that you don't use different words interchangeably, such as off one time and down the next. You'll just confuse your dog. Choose a word and stick with it. Each basic command will be taught in three steps. Teach, reinforce, and off-leash control. In step one, you'll demonstrate what your dog should do. Show the action you expect your dog to perform in response to a command. Use a leash to control and direct your dog. In step two, you'll use your Enotech remote training system to reinforce the commands that you've taught your dog. And in step three, we'll add distractions and temptations to make your dog more reliable when you really need it and increase the distance from which your dog will need to obey commands. Throughout the training process, you'll want to use plenty of praise, playing with toys, treats, and lots of attention for appropriate behavior. Discourage the wrong behavior by withholding attention, play, and treats, and wait for the first opportunity to lavish the attention again for the appropriate behavior.